Hello, it's Franz from MSTRI. Today we're going to talk about a study that has created a lot of controversy surrounding bioprosthetic aortic valves. Enjoy! The study's title is Possible Subclinical Leaflet Thromboses in Bioprosthetic Aortic Valves by Macker et al. It was published in October 2015 in the New England Journal of Medicine. Let me tell you a quick story so you know how this paper came about. So, in a clinical trial of a new transcatheter aortic valve in which all patients underwent routine four-dimensional CT scanning, investigators made an unexpected finding. One patient, let's call him Stan Osis, who underwent transcatheter valve replacement, subsequently had a stroke. Stan's CT scan showed reduced aortic valve leaflet motion, suggesting leaflet thrombosis. This finding raised a couple of questions. Did the stroke come from the clot on the valve? How common is reduced leaflet motion in bioprosthetic valves? And how does anticoagulation affect this reduced mobility? So in their study, Makar et al. looked at 187 patients who had recently received a bioprosthetic valve either through a transcatheter approach called TAVR or surgically, who subsequently underwent 4D CT scanning. 55 patients were from the Portico IDE clinical trial that only included TAVR patients. Another 132 patients had received either a TAVR or a surgically implanted bioprosthetic valve. They came from two physician-initiated registries called Resolve and Savory. Reduced leaflet mobility was noted in 22 out of 55 clinical trial patients, or 40%, and in 17 out of 132 registry patients, or 13%. Now the question is, is this reduced mobility really associated with thrombosis and an increased risk of stroke and TIA? Well, it seems to be so. Out of 22 patients with reduced leaflet mobility in the trial group, two or 9% developed stroke or TIA, which was not significant. However, out of 17 patients with leaflet mobility problems in the registry group, three or 17.6% developed stroke or TIA. P-value 0.007, so significant. Now the next question is, can anticoagulation with warfarin prevent thrombosis from happening or can it resolve thrombosis once it has occurred? When the authors compared patients who were on warfarin to those who were on dual antiplatelet therapy, they found that 0% of patients on warfarin had reduced leaflet mobility as compared to 29% in the dual platelet group. P-value 0.04. And what happens to patients with reduced leaflet mobility who are put on warfarin? Can the clot be resolved in those patients? Well, the authors looked at that too. 21 patients with reduced leaflet mobility had follow-up CTs. 11 were in warfarin and 10 were not. Turns out that the mobility problem resolved in all of the patients on warfarin but remained in 9 out of 10 patients who were not on warfarin. So the good news is it seems that we can do something about this problem by giving warfarin. The problem, however, is that most patients choose a bioprosthetic aortic valve over a mechanical valve because they want to avoid oral anticoagulation in the first place. And that reasoning really has lots of question marks associated with it now. So I guess we'll have to await more data before we can have more clarity. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, leave a comment. If you didn't like it, also leave a comment, please. And if you like cardiac imaging, then please check out our cardiac magnetic resonance course called CMR Essentials. And as always, this video comes with an infographic summarizing its key findings, so don't forget to download that too. With that being said, I'm looking forward to seeing you soon.